Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today. So today we are back at the channel with another house tour and this time we are touring this gorgeous modern beach house that I did on the 50 by 50 size lot in not Windenburg, oh my gosh, in Sulani, in the island of island living. And I'm really excited to show you everything because like I say, with every house tour, with a speed build, you don't see everything, but with a house tour, you do. So really excited to show you all the little details that I worked so hard on on this house. Um, so yeah, you're, you're gonna have so much fun. Anyways, before we get started with the house tour, I do have a little announcement if you looked to the title of the video, you know, I can guess why you're here. Um, I have a code of island living to give away to one of you guys. And that was really uh, very sweet of EA. So EA Game Changers provided me with the code. So thank you so much EA Game Changers for giving me a code to give to you all um, so that you can enjoy this game as well. So if you want to enter the giveaway, the only things that you need to do is be subscribed, like the video and of course comment some things in the comment section down below and also add in you know the way that I need to contact you because I cannot always contact you through YouTube give me a alternate context as well um, and I will contact you there so yeah leave your you know your your Twitter or your uh, Instagram or email or whatever with your comment and I will be randomly picking a winner on Wednesday. So this upcoming Wednesday, the, oh my gosh, the third, I think, no, let me think, it's like the 30th of June right now. So it's the one, two, three, three of July, the third of July in Belgium. Um, I will be picking a winner on Wednesday. So yeah, enter until then <laughs> and then uh, keep an eye out on Twitter because I will be announcing it on Twitter and I will also be putting it in the description of this video so if you don't have twitter go back to this video on wednesday look in the description and i will put the name of the winner there as well so yeah that are the rules for entering the giveaway good luck to all of you and now let's get started with the house tour if you're still interested in that but but it's a nice one it's a nice house to tour so first of all this is the uh large 50 by 50 size beach house that i did for uh sulani uh if you want to download this i will put in a link in the description as well so this house is gorgeous what i really like is this little pathway that i created here and that goes into this outdoor shower area and I like that there's like a random boat uh, on the beach back there I imagine that it's maybe something that the children you know placed there and they play around with that boat um, but yeah there's a nice little outdoor um, um, shower there for your sims when they come out of the ocean um, they can wash their feet or you know wash their entire body and then don't drag in the the sand in the house which is really annoying sand in your house um so yeah and then here we have the grand entryway so we have the mailbox here on the left side of the stairs you walk up on the stairs and you have the entry so there is another stair and it leads up to the second level so you can enter there if you you know wish as well but this is the main entryway so let's go through that and i'm going to show you every room so going through this door um the first thing that you see is the hallway so this is just a basic little hallway you know try to make it look a little bit classy with the candles and the, the artwork right there so the first door that you will see you know let's get it out of the way is the bathroom <laughs> so this is actually a really cute little bathroom i love the tiling that i used from jungle adventure it pairs so well with the pack so we have our double sink situation there the toilet a walk-in shower uh that i created there and then a tub as well so you can wash yourself in a tub or a shower really handy especially for guests that are you know staying over they can use this downstairs bathroom if they wish so going back here oh my gosh i love that room should we go in no wait there's one more door let me show you one more door and then we're gonna go in you know that gorgeous living room section i love that uh, our area so much anyways we have another door and this is the laundry room so right off the bat when you walk in the hallway you have a toilet and a laundry room this is more for the butler if you you know want to play with butlers or maybe you like um 
you know that your sim does her laundry herself they they can do it here we have three laundry baskets already filling up <laughs> this one is almost full and it's just a nice little area i like creating designated uh, laundry areas and then there's also a litter box here for the cat um yeah i think i placed that there yeah, I was thinking I am playing with a family right now to play test it, my, my sim cell family. And I was adding in some stuff for the cats to do. But I think this one comes when you download it from the gallery. So that's awesome. So yeah, that is the little laundry room. So going back through the hall. Ooh, we have another door there. No, let's go here first. So let's go here first because this is my favorite part of the house. Oh, and look at little kitty cat this is my cat london uh, my actual real life cat also looks like that and you know she's in love with the liquor <laughs> you can see that little heart she's like i love this liquor cabin so much um but yeah this is the little bar that we have on the indoors this is for entertaining um let me just unpause the game yeah she's like really in love it's so cute um but yeah so this is our indoor bar i love the the like shiplack or however you call the the wallpaper that i used i love that it's like a little bit torn and worn but still has this beautiful bright color it really makes this uh, room pop um and then we also have like a little seating area so when you're entertaining and drinking you know you can sit here there is a skylight um for some natural light which is awesome and then when you go through here, we have the grand dining room. So this dining room has lots of natural light going in. I love that this has open windows. I mean, it's Solani. How how bad is the weather going to get? Um, but yeah, I love this so much. And I also love that when you go up, you know, <laughs> you have the master bedroom right there. Um, but yeah, this is more of a room for, again, entertaining guests. I do imagine that... When there is like maybe a rainstorm or a thunderstorm, you know, they close up these windows so, you know, everything would be fine. I mean, it's The Sims. We can pretend a little bit. Um, so there are a little bit of knickknacks here on the, sh uh, on the side table. I love these faces so much. Um, and then a totem uh, thingy on the wall. We have a little seating the area as well. So when you're probably making dinner and it's not quite ready yet, I can see a guest sitting here you know chatting with you while you're you know walking up and down in the kitchen you know your, your guests can sit here with a beverage and just chat and talk to you i think that is a really nice little touch definitely a very um how do you say this this area and the kitchen is very orientated for entertaining uh, and my guests or my guests my sims love entertaining um so here we have the kitchen i cannot get over how i love the kitchen counters sadly yes this island is not really functional but i did make it functional um on adding in the stoves right here so your sim can actually stand here cook up a meal so you know you are using the counters and then here you can wash your dishes no dishwasher because i forgot <laughs> but you can easily add that in so here i added in a breakfast nook for eating breakfast of course you can add in more chairs if you want to i just went with this simple setup and then here we have a larger um, area i probably think that dinner is served more often either here or here on the outdoor patio because on the outdoor patio we also have a barbecue and my sims love barbecuing so i also see them use this outdoor area a lot and look at this i mean you have a decent few over here so i would use this a lot maybe for even my morning coffees with my croissant i love croissants i cannot eat them uh, a lot because i cannot eat so much gluten but i love croissants they're they're amazing and here in belgium you know we have a pretty good croissant i mean not as good as in france but they are really good here. Um, so going back. Oh, and the swimming pool. That's right. You can sit here at dinner time and, you know, look in the swimming pool. Maybe the kids are like playing still in the pool. You can sit here and wait until they're done. <laughs> so that is nice. So yeah, this is the little entertaining and kitchen area. Um, my favorite area of this entire house. So let me go back to the hallway. So bye bye 
really nice bar. <laughs> and London, London, who is loving the bar as well. So we have our staircase going up. We're going to go through that a little bit later. Um, and then here we have the uh, living room. So this is more of the family living room. I don't see them entertaining here. This is just actually for the family. So I added in a little toddler play area right there. Um, because for me, that is realistic. My kids also have their own designated play area in my house. So I always try to add them in in my Sims houses as well. I just like to have my kids very close to me <laughs> in every room that I am. Um, but yeah, this is the, the, the living room. It's really basic. It's not that... Um, luxurious but it needed to feel cozy and it definitely feels cozy I love the I love this coffee table so much it's from my first pet stuff pack yeah I know a oh, very conversational pack I still like it um, but yeah this is the living room and here is my cat um, Stitch <laughs> Stitch is just sitting there this is exactly something that Stitch would do should I jump on the couch I mean I want to but it's so much trouble just jumping you know contemplating what he should do yeah, and then he gives up. That is definitely something that my Stitch would do. So that's so cute. Um, anyways, here we have another door and a bar. Another bar. Because it's, my, it's, it's you know, it's one of... It's, it's a bar. Um, and it looks really cute. I love the color of that blue. It really vibrates well with the, the living room. Um, now we have another door. And this door leads into the guest bedroom. So... The guest bedroom, I think it looks really good. I love, again, that colorful wallpaper. It's my favorite one. You will see this gum back in a lot of builds that I'm going to do in the future. Um, and I'm going to tour as well. So, yeah, just just so that you know, if you're getting bored of that wallpaper, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not. Um, but, yeah, this is the guest bedroom. So, we have a dresser right there with some clothes. Here is the, the bed really nice and colorful when you turn around your guests get their own little seating area and what i like about this they have their own access point as well because this is actually a sliding door so they don't need to come in from the living room but there is an option from them to uh you know when they're sleeping here to just walk into the living room or they can just walk out on the deck and enjoy uh enjoy a sunrise maybe here walk down here and then, you know, drink a cup of coffee right here, looking at the gorgeous jet skis and, of course, the view of the island, because this is also a nice view. You have, like, 360 all-around great views on this island, which I love. Um, so, yeah, and here you also see the jet ski area. <laughs> we have our jet skis uh, parked here. So, one for my husband, for, for my sim self, and one for Selena, who are playtesting this house right now. And here up, we have also a little balcony which we're gonna go in later um but yeah this is the guest area so going back into the guest bedroom i'm gonna show you all uh the back deck because there isn't a backyard it's really weird not creating backyards um but it's also really nice at the same time. Um, but yeah here we have our back deck area this is where all of the not magic, but this is definitely uh, a place that my sims like to be. So we have our bar right here in this corner, tucked away. We have, uh, you know, just a large big deck. You can add in whatever you want on this deck. I kept it really simple and open. Uh, we also have a swimming pool. So yeah, and here you have Selena testing the pool. I think she approves of our swimming pool. Yeah, I think she does. Um, but yeah, here we have our back deck area. Sadie is climbing inside. I don't know what she's doing. Ooh, she's 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 glitching out. <laughs> she's walking on the ocean floor. <laughs> yeah, that just happened in a house tour. Yeah, she's she's just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just see what she's gonna do. Is she gonna is she gonna pop right out? Yeah, she is. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> uh, I like these glitches. Usually, a lot of people, you know, get annoyed by these glitches. I I think they're fun. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we have our sunbathing deck right here for sun 
beds for your sims to enjoy. Sunbathing is one of my favorite things to do in real life, so yay for my sims. And I also added in a floaty here for the kids to use, you know, for the two to float around and be happy. They can use that right there. So going back through here, because you saw a door opening there, uh, and you saw my sim self coming out. What is she drinking? Oh, she's drinking kava. That is so her. That is, oops, Mona. That is something that I would see her do. You know, let's start the morning out with a cup of kava. Uh, and then here we have, oh, Coco. Coco's here as well. I love my Coco. <laughs> and Coco is definitely in love as well. I don't know with what, but she is. Um, and then here we have the office. So this office, I like it. Uh, again, because we have this vibrant wallpaper on the back that throws back into that, you know, very tropical vibe, um, very beachy life. And then we have a very luxurious setting. So I don't know what Steven is doing, but he's doing something. We have our world globe, 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 world globe with drinks, of course, right here in the corner. And it's just a, a nice cozy office. I didn't want to emphasize the office, but I do like that it has like an entirely um, separate entrance. So, you know, you can have someone over maybe for a business meeting. They can sit here. Your sim can work there. You know, they don't need to go through the entire house. I love that idea because sometimes you just don't want uh, strangers to go through your house, especially if you're like a have a sneaky business deal going on um so yeah that's basically it for the first floor um so you can see the deck right here so let me pan up real quick so that you can see the entire back side of the house um so yeah let me pop right into the hallway again and i'm gonna show you all the second floor Okay, we are now in the hallway. Um, this is the, you know, that entertaining room with that really nice little bar that I showed you earlier. So let's just go up the stairs and let me show you all the first, or is it the first floor? This is like the second floor. So there is um, a skylight over here. I did place that light weirdly. I am aware. <laughs> there is a little bit of glitching here, but there is this double uh, sliding door here that leads back into the front of the house. I really like that. So you can have your staircase right there to go out. Um, and then this is the hallway. So let's go through here. You know, let me show you all. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That is also something <laughs> that I did. If you're playing with this house, please move, move the plant outside. It's going through the wall. I'm so sorry. Um, but let's go through this door right here first. So this is the, um, how do you call it? The, 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 the toddler room, the nursery. Um, this is actually a lava room for boys. Sadie designed this one and she had so much fun with this carpet. She loved that carpet. She actually didn't know that it came in a lava kind of color. So when she saw that, she was like, mama, there's a, there's a lava carpet. We need to make a lava room. So I really like that. So this is for the toddlers. There's a double toddler bed, but you can remove a toddler bed, add in like a crib if you're like a newly born change the colors if it's like a girl or keep it as if you can do whatever you want um so let's go back in the hallway um and then we have another door right here and this is the uh the kids bedroom so again we're gonna have double doors here i'm like look at coco <laughs> coco <laughs> Coco is having so much fun and so much loving in her as well. But anyways, this is the kids' bedroom. Uh, what I like about the kids' bedroom um, is the color. Oh my gosh, look at that color. Look at this, this area right here. So this is what I like the most about it. Just the, the colors of the clutter. You have the surfboards or, or you know, the, the skateboards on the wall. We have the fairy lights. I love this section right here. We also have a void critter station and a laptop here and a building block section as well. And this ha also gets a their own little... Oh, there she's playing puppets. That's so cute. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Um, but yeah, there's also a nice little balcony area for your kid to play outside. And I added in the puppet theater because those are... That is my like my like one of my favorite play areas. Areas, uh, items. I like the puppet theater. I like the Void Critter Station, and I love the Don't Wick the Llama game to play with my kids. Um, so yeah, this is the kids' bedroom. Then going back through here, we have a 
uh, hallway, of course. And then there's another door. And this actually leads into... Oh my gosh, it's raining. <laughs> Why is it raining? Isn't it always sunny in Sulani? Um, but anyways, we have our bedroom. Our bedroom, our bathroom right here. Um, so there is a... Bot top, of course, for washing your toddlers. I, I really thought about the toddlers. If you have toddlers, you want a bot top upstairs. Um, there's a sink area and also a potty and a walk-in shower again. I love creating these things so much. I cannot wait till we get our own creative uh, 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 you know, how do you say it? A creative shower tool or something like that. So going back through here, um, you know, back to this you know, weirdly placed lamp. And also here, you know, I, yeah, that's my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the design default. So when we go through here, you know, with a door right there, but we're going to circle back through the deck there. Um, so when we go through here, we have the bedroom and this is the master bedroom. So Oh my gosh, they're all inside, probably because of the rain. And look at Selena, she's just chilling there <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> but yeah, here we have the master bedroom. And uh, this is like the walk-in wardrobe. It's like really nonchalant and basic, but I'm living for it. I love that there's like a wall-length mirror here. You have a gorgeous little view of the of the beach, especially nice when it's not raining. You know, you have your dresser here. So this is for your sim husband or, you know, whoever isn't the fashionista in the house. And I see this for my sim self. You know, she gets a walk-in wardrobe with all the items. You know, I don't know why she has ties but she has them <laughs> um but yeah you know a double double section right there i like that and then there's a door here and that leads into the master bathroom so the master bathroom i went with a very colorful tiling combining it with grays and white you know a little bit more of a traditional look of the um washing how do you ever call these things sinks um very jungle adventurish and then a shower there as well so this is the master bedroom really really colorful of bathroom and then here um we have the bed of course no uh, another set of sunlights and then here we have the uh just maybe a relaxing area for mom and dad so when they you know want to relax the kids are downstairs watching television they can do it right here they can watch television here maybe watch a movie before bedtime um i don't know what are they doing right now they're just talking and chilling which is fine you know you do you <laughs> um and then here's the bed where all the magic happens of course and the mirror because you want to look at yourself when you're sleeping um so we also have a opening door right here into the patio area um, and then we have of course uh, Selena sitting there enjoying enjoying the rain <laughs> um, and then when you go down here because I didn't show this as well we have a double bed situation so when the weather is actually good you know, your sims can sit here, relax, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the beautiful side of Solani, although I actually really like how Solani looks in the rain. I cannot lie. I really like it. It's a gorgeous sight, even in rain. Um, but yeah, I added in these lounge beds for your sims to enjoy. And then going back through here, let me pause uh, the game real quick. Um, we're gonna go through here. We have like another deck area. Yes, I forgot to paint that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we have a staircase leading back into the main deck. And then when you go through here, there is a nice little seating area. And then here we have 
the teen bedroom. So the teen bedroom, I, what I like here is the color. I mean, that green. I, I'm really obsessed with green lately, especially in combination with this, you know, island Caribbean wallpaper that we've gotten in an update. So I added in a fish obsessed sim here. So we have fish on the wall, a fish bowl here on the desk. We have old, uh, some pictures of fish <laughs> on the wall as well. And then here we have the closet. I wanted to go through it. Here's the walk-in. Well, it's not really a walk-in. It's just a normal closet that you place from get together. Um, so yeah, and then when you go through here again, you know, you have that hallway that I kind of glitched out a little bit. So that is the entire tour. Let me go out through here and let me show you all, uh, you know, the entire exterior. But first, you know, let me make it not rain anymore. Okay, the sun is shining again. You know, I worked my <laughs> my weather <laughs> machine magic. Um, so yeah, we're back at the sun is shining, and uh, I mean, just let's give let me give you a pan around, and then you saw everything. So again, we have our eating area right there off the kitchen, the lounge beds 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 that look way nicer now with better weather. Um, so you can just go down here, you can sit here, you know, relax, enjoy your view um we have our back deck over here and then let me go into uh you know like an aerial view and show you all of the rooms so let me do it like this so this is the rooftop this is the second floor and this is the first floor so now you all have seen everything i'm hoping that you all enjoyed this little house tour i had a lot of fun <laughs> i had a lot of fun and look at selena she's having so much fun here in 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 the ocean being a being a mermaid so i yeah i'm hoping that you all enjoyed this house tour don't forget to enter the giveaway if you want to and that's basically it oh and don't forget to subscribe and like of course <laughs> you know cannot stress it enough so that's it you all i'm hoping that you all are having a awesome day wherever you are oh my gosh she went right through that through, through the stairs uh, but yeah i'm hoping that you all are having a awesome day wherever you are and hopefully i will see you all in the next one bye bye <laughs>